Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Big Mick. I am here with a commentary about the various things that have gone on in E3. A little late, I know, but what can I say? <laughs> uh, my apologies for not putting out another video sooner. I'm, like I said, I'm still trying to find my bearings in this. And, but hopefully I'll come out with something more frequent, for the love of God. <laughs> there were a lot of things that caught my eye in terms of E3 coverage. One of the biggest ones was Halo 4, and those words just feel weird coming out of my mouth. It's a whole nother trilogy involving Master Chief and Cortana. Not a lot has actually been said about it. It's just that intro trailer which looks stunning and I'm honestly curious what they're gonna do with it I'm wary about it because 343 Studios is taking over for Bungie. Bungie is no longer anything to do with Halo at all it's all Microsoft and 343 who knows what they're gonna do with it I don't know but it looks pretty good and you can't deny that Battlefield the next Battlefield game the true Battlefield 3, the true successor to Battlefield 2, not Bad Company or anything. This game looks so good, and it's got a destruction engine that the uh, it, the game is just it. Oh God, it's amazing. I mean, if you thought Bad Company 2 had a good destruction engine, this has it beat a thousand times fold. It's crazy. But a lot of computer gamers, PC gamers, are going to be pretty pissed about it. One of the things they're putting in is if you pre-order it from GameStop, or that's what we call it here in the U.S., I don't know what they call it everywhere else, that you get a gun, and it is a exclusive gun that's really, really freaking good, and it's going to give you a huge advantage over a lot of people, but you have to buy it from a certain place. You can't buy it from, say, Steam or Gamersgate or anything like that. You have to buy it from this specific retailer. And there's actually talks of a boycott about this, and we'll see how that goes. I don't, I don't really know if enough people actually do it, they will change it and make the make it available to everybody. But who knows? Uh, the way producers are, gaming producers in general, you can never tell, and they probably are going to try and milk it for as much as they can make. Modern Warfare Three the new game coming out uh, as you guys well know Infinity Ward has nothing to do with this mostly because of the fact that Infinity Ward doesn't exist anymore <laughs> and it is I don't know I've I've seen really nothing of it mostly because of the fact that every trailer I've seen and everything I've read about it is like 20 seconds long of nothing but showing me this is Modern Warfare 3 you should buy this because it's amazing and sexy and that tells me what about the game. I don't, I don't get anything from this. <laughs> uh, Tim Schafer is making a game that is a Sesame Street game using the Brutal Legend engine. That's right. The engine you use to decapitate goth people with a giant axe is being used to make a Sesame Street game where you dance with Elmo and monsters. <laughs> I had trouble keeping a straight face when I said that. Um, but the game itself looks freaking precious. I, I can't say this any other way. It looks it looks adorable and it looks like something that a lot of families are going to enjoy. But if you play it with your kids, for the love of God, don't show them Brutal Legend because they will probably cry, Mommy, why is Jack Black chopping that demon's head off? If your children ever say that, you should probably, probably do something about that. Anyway... <laughs> Twisted Metal. Need I say more? Yes, because they haven't said too much about it at all. This is the next installment of the Twisted Metal series, and Twisted Metal, for those of you who don't know, after this comes out, will have been on every Sony station. PS1, PS2, PS3. And it is a game that is about a year younger than me, and I turn 19 tomorrow. <laughs> It is, it's an old franchise, it goes back to like 1993, or, or I can't remember what the exact date of Twisted Metal 1 was, but this new Twisted Metal game is dark, oh my god, it's got some dark humor in it, 
and that's to be expected because the guys who do it are sick bastards. Is that a bad thing? No, but if you are lighthearted and whimsical, you should probably avoid this like the plague because it looks wow. <laughs> Just off the little bits I've seen, it looks pretty bad, but if you're a good old-fashioned fan of the Twisted Metal franchise, and if you like sitting on the couch with a bunch of friends screaming at each other while you're shooting them with machine guns mounted on the front of your hot rod, you'll probably like it. If you have a fear of clowns, avoid, like, the plague. <laughs> uh, that was all I've seen that really, truly stood out to me in terms of software. There were a lot of pretty amazing looking things. I mean, they had Duke Nukem there, and I'm not even going to talk about Duke Nukem forever because that was depressing as hell. But, in terms of hardware, Wii U looks amazing. That's that's the only way I can say that. The Wii U just... It, the way they did it is, is pretty incredible. For those of you who don't know, it's like an iPad. Roughly that big in relation to the size of my head, which tells you nothing. I know. But it's basically this little tablet, and you can use it to interact with the Wii in various methods. You could use it to scroll the internet, upload, you can actually upload something on it, on YouTube, and then just sort of, and it goes up on the TV. You know, just slide it up on the TV like something you would see in, say, Iron Man, except it's bulkier. It interacts with games, like if you're playing Legend of Zelda, and you're doing stuff with the Wiimote and Nunchuck, it's your inventory, so you could just pop... Oh, I have a bomb now. Here's a bomb. And you could do stuff like that. In Wii Golf, you could set it on the ground, and it's your tee. You use that... Pop! You aim for that. It's amazing. And and just the hardware they put into it, and, and the clear work, it, it, it it's a standalone thing. It could be, but it's not. They tied it in with the Wii, and it looks and and sounds really freaking impressive and Sony and Microsoft didn't really hold up that well to it I mean Sony Microsoft announced a lot of software and Sony announced mostly software I mean don't get me wrong Gears 3 looks great and Resistance 3 looks great and all these games look great but you didn't sate the desire for a new hardware system. I mean, <coughs> the Xbox 360 came out when I was in 8th grade, and I'm in college now. So it's an old system, and it's probably... I was honestly surprised they didn't announce a next-gen system for it, because, I mean, it's, what, 5-year-old technology, 6-year-old technology? It's pretty old, and I'm, I was expecting them to come out with the new system. If they did, I clearly missed it, but I don't see how I would have missed it. But if I did, you guys can put that in the comment section below and say, Noob, how did you not notice this? <laughs> but that's, that's basically what caught my eye. That caught my eye the most in terms of stuff from there. That, and I am still freaking ridiculously impressed with the Microsoft Connect. I know I just bashed Microsoft, but the Connect is awesome. <laughs> and I I wish I had another Xbox. I've had Microsoft trouble. I'm not even going to get into that. Anyway, one of the other things I wanted to mention in this video is there is three new segments I'd like to do. I know I still have the gearing guide and stuff, but... There's a few more segments I'd like to do. Uh, let me know if you guys in, would enjoy it. One of them is a computer hardware type video where me and a friend of mine, Chris, we are going to be going over the various ins and outs of computer hardware, comparing various things, you know, why you should get this graphics card over this one, or this cooling system over this one, or why you should get this hard drive over this hard drive, or in this scenario, why you should get this over that, and, and all that good happy stuff. And hopefully that'll be entertaining to some people, because I honestly think there's an audience for it. Next is a segment I am probably also going to be doing with him, where me and him just sit around and bullshit for about 15 minutes, and we record it and put it up, because we have some pretty sweet conversations. 
And last but not least is a lore segment I would like to be doing, but I'd like to know if you guys would like that or not. And it would be about Warcraft lore, but also other lore, like Halo, or Gears, or Half-Life, or one of the various other games that have great storylines, because I'm a firm believer that video games have good storylines, and this would hopefully draw some people's attentions to it. And I know I only have nine subscribers, but what the hell. If you guys would find any of these entertaining, please let me know in the comments section below. And I would also like to know what you guys were impressed with most and what you were disappointed with most in terms of E3 stuff. Uh, if you could leave that in the comments section below, I would be greatly appreciated. And I will try and put out videos more often. My name is Mr. Big Mick, and until next time, good night, and above all, good hunting.